hey everyone, that was a little clip from the local park here in East Alton, Illinois. They put up their Christmas lights at the park, and uh, it really made it feel real, finally. It finally feels like Christmas here. Now, this is the very last video from me and Jax from East Alton, Illinois. We are getting back on the road, and, well... I still don't want to spoil the surprise, although most of you have figured it out, but I'm going east from here. Not south, not southwest, or, and obviously not north. So, um, but, uh, as it turns out, i got to wait one more day because i got a few more tweaks to have worked on on the, you know, the install that I got done. So, tonight is just kind of a quiet night with Jax and I. It's like this a lot. Um, uh, over on the computer over there, I'm rendering some editing files, so that just gets done automatically. And we can sit here and watch some TV. But yeah, it's just kind of laid back, you know? Yeah. This is the setup that I'm comfortable with now. As you can see, the dresser and TV have moved over six inches. The litter box is there with the Christmas tree. Um, the stockings I haven't put up yet, but... Oh, and then... My buddies, uh, Sean and Jill, got me my first official Christmas presents here. Uh, I see some Bud Light in there and some M&Ms and uh, Oreos, and I got a modified t-shirt, which they sell, and my favorite popcorn from Chef's Shop there, and a few, I don't know what the, uh, colas are yet, but, and then that's for Jax. <laughs> so, uh, we've decided to wait till Christmas to open these gifts. Uh, so I'm going to keep them by the tree, but not necessarily on the speaker box here. Because they may rattle off. And there they are. Those two 15-inch Memphis subwoofers with the uh, ported enclosure here. And it sounds good. It works great. So I sacrificed the passenger seat, which I've done in several RV. In fact, is it every RV? Every RV, including birth of the van. <laughs> yeah, I've always gotten rid of that seat. Luckily, it's going to be staying here at the shop upstairs in the attic, wrapped up and all the bolts taped to it, just in case life changes on down the road. So it's not gone. Um, Jax has not been using that seat. He'll use it sometimes in the parking lot, but as soon as we hit a main road and go 35 miles an hour or more, he... Uh, he jumps off the seat and would rather sit somewhere else. So it, it, it was never really a jack seat. He's, you know, he likes to do his own thing. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, let's see, other things going on. Oh, my hat. I haven't shown you this, but when I went to the Motorheads bar there, the uh, Route 66 theme bar, I got a hat. I love it. It fits me great. Um, <laughs> not that I needed another hat, but... Yeah. They didn't have a magnet. If they had a magnet, I would have bought a magnet. It has been like three weeks since I've gotten a new magnet, and I'm having a little bit of magnet withdrawals here. Uh, but basically, the install is all complete, and Gary did an awesome job. So, up here in front, this is the final look. You see it? <laughs> That's my Kenwood Double Din receiver there. This whole piece, and the screw, this whole whole piece was custom built so that the climate control buttons would still be there. I mean, it just looked, it was so fun to watch Gary build this custom made and it just looks sweet. It, it's not the exact wood grain of all the other things, but it fits everything in this area right here and everything works fantastically well. It is so awesome to have the, the uh, touch screen. Uh, while it's connecting right now to my iPod there, it'll connect to two Bluetooth devices. I've also got a thumb drive connected here with some music loaded onto it. And it sounds awesome. But you know what? The problem with trying to share with you what some awesome audio sounds like through YouTube is that you're not going to hear anything. I'm hearing an awesome full flavored sound with some mid tones and bass tones and and treble with, with with the new speakers on the ceiling and all you're gonna hear is this really distorted crap on your end watching from your phone or your tv it just doesn't sound right it's not what i'm hearing so believe me it sounds epically awesome. It's fun for music to have a little more flavor in the music. It's definitely not too much for Jax. I don't overdo it. I, you know, I listen to country 
and, and rock and hard rock and, and sometimes a little bit of uh, metal and 80s hairband rock also. But, you know, I, I, I don't kill it with the bass and I don't, I don't, I don't overdo it like some people do. Uh, however, th the reason why I'm staying till tomorrow morning is because I got to have Gary look at that famous adapter I talked about because it's not, it's not working. It's not sending a clear signal. It's only giving me one channel on one side. So we're going to look at that one more time before I head out in the morning. And I do have one more thing I want to show you. So I will cut back in in the morning. Oh, look how sweet Hims is. Good morning, Jax. Yeah, man. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Today is the day I leave this general area of Illinois and head on east. Uh, it's bittersweet, man. I've been here nearly, what, three weeks, I think? Uh, even though I've seen a lot of neat stuff and made some awesome upgrades to Miranda. Everything has to come to an end, and I'm a little sad about that. But it's finally time for me to share with you an interesting... Possibly funny. I, I, th I think it's to the point now where it's funny. Something that uh, happened and kind of fill you in on the little inside joke of the scorpion mess. Uh, before I before I explain this funny story, though, uh, my friends here in East Alton have been messing with me and they ganged up and they hid fake scorpions all over the inside of my RV. Uh, I don't have all of them to show you, but let me show you a little clip of some of the best ones. The jokesters they are. <laughs> I'm sure there's more. I'm sure I will be continuing to find little plastic scorpions for months, hidden in random places. Thanks, guys. That's awesome. But um, let's let's backtrack here because the scorpion story goes back to October when I got the hot tub and I went to that Texas Thousand Trails and set up the hot tub there in Texas. Well, I learned a valuable and painful lesson on the last day before I packed up. I had been using the hot tub and putting on my shorts. Uh, then I would change back out of my wet shorts and put on dry shorts when I was done with the hot tub. And that process would, you know, sometimes I went in that hot tub seven or eight different times throughout the day. And I would always hang my wet shorts and my towel out on the motorcycle to let them kind of dry between uses. Well, the very last time I went to use the hot tub, I went outside to grab my still moist shorts Brought them inside, and right here in the living room, dropped my drawers, and put on those shorts. <laughs> and as soon as I pulled them up, I felt a sharp sting, kind of like a clothespin had snapped, right on my stuff down there. And I frantically ripped the shorts back off. There was nothing still attached to it there. It was still in the shorts, it hurt. That is the first time in my life I've ever been stung by a scorpion. Um, on a pain level, I would say it's about 20 times worse than a bee sting. It immediately began to pulsate the whole lower section of me down there. 
And I'll be honest with you, I kind of freaked out, okay? It was not my brightest moment. I packed up and I left and went to the hospital. I forgot which hospital I went to there, but I went to the hospital thinking because as someone who doesn't know about scorpions and southern venomous things, I thought I was going to die. I thought the venom was poisonous. Well, I come to find out that there are only like 10% of actual venomous scorpions in Texas. And uh, after I described what it looked like, uh, they, they pretty much told me that I had nothing to worry about. Although I was given some cream for that area and some antibiotics. Uh, but other than that, it on the side of it was so swollen for like five or six days. The, the swollen area on the side, it was horrible. It was horrible. So, you know, and then I'm like, well, you know, I was so embarrassed and everything. I didn't want to share it with you guys originally. Plus, I mean, I can't show you any pictures. <laughs> uh, I can't show any video of me standing in the living room naked. So at the time, I had to just kind of keep it between a small group of friends and family. <laughs> But, you know, now that I can laugh at it, and thank you, Jill and Sean and Gary and TJ and everybody for helping me laugh with all the scorpions. But, you know, it's a really good lesson I learned as far as, you know, anything moist outside, a towel, a shirt, a hat. You know, if you're in an area where scorpions, snakes, tarantulas, or anything venomous is possible, shake it out first. And I have I've already started to do that no matter what it is. Even if it's just like a towel outside or a hoodie that I placed on a mirror or something, I grab it, I shake it, I turn it inside out, I shake the heck out of it before I put it on. <laughs> that is the uh, lesson I learned as far as scorpions. So um, it's going to take me a while to, to get used to it again. I'm still a little twitchy, as you can obviously see from the video clips. I'm still a little startled just at the sight of them. Otherwise, you know, spiders don't bother me. I had a really bad experience with earwigs when I was growing up back home in the Northwest. I had a uh, heated waterbed, and I was like 12 or 13. And one night, randomly, apparently, an entire egg hatched, or whatever you call it. They're, they're whatever they, they breed in. Well, it hatched, and all of a sudden, all these earwigs... Have you ever seen an earwig? They got the prickly rear end they're just nasty looking creatures i don't think they hurt too much but i ever, ever since then uh earwigs have been my nemesis well now it's scorpions for now <laughs> anyways i want to get this video uh out there and let you know what's going on uh if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe hit that bell icon so you can get the notifications i'm going to be going to some interesting places here for the rest of this year and into 2020. So um, if you want to follow me and, and follow our travels, I'll be happy to share it with you. And uh, I appreciate all of you for watching and being patient with me. Jackson, I'll see you in our very next video soon. Bye, guys.